Junior, sigh. I wish you were still here, Dad. <sighs> Me too, son. Me too. I wish I was still here. I wish I was still there too, but... I'm not. So, you're going to have to fight this battle without me. It's not just about the battle, Dad. I just want to be reunited with my father. I know, Goji. I know how you feel. Didn't Mom used to call you Goji? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Well, anyways, I do miss you, son. I miss you more than ever. I wish I could come back, but I can't. Will I see you again, though? One day, my son. One day. I hope so. Anyways, I gotta go. And remember, I'm I will always be in your heart. No matter what, I will always be in your heart. I know. But, can I ask you a favor? Yes? What is it? You know, um... Uh, about Ironwood? Yeah? I need you to talk some sense to him. So, you think you can do that? Sure thing, son. Anything for you. Where is he? He's in the dungeon. He's in the, um, prison cells. You'll find him. Alright, thanks. When Heisei Gutzel's ghost found General Ironwood's jail cell... Well... He actually saw all that the well that Ironwood was asleep. He was still recovering from Junior's wrath. Huh, my son really did a number on you. Well anyways, time to get down to business. H.C. Godzilla's ghost went inside of Ironwood's head. So that way... Wait. You can get a better... So that way you can have a little conversation with Ironwood. In Ironwood's mind... Right? Ironwood was having a dream when he was still well the general he was thinking on what he could have done to prevent all of this it wasn't until long before he heard a voice well 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 
if it isn't General Ironwood himself. Ironwood turned her, but he couldn't see who was talking to him. Where are you? Who are you? Oh, don't be alarmed. I'm here to have a little talk with you. Junior, is that you? No, I'm not Junior. I'm his father. Ironwood was shocked and terrified. I've heard all the bullcrap about what you put my wife through. And I've heard all of your little evil plans. You don't deserve the title as general. Look, I'm sorry about what I did to your wife. I am so, so sorry. Please don't curse me, curse me until the day I die. Don't worry. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to ask a few questions. And I am sensing a lot of hatred towards my kind from you. Let me ask. Why do you hate my kind so much? And where did it come from, may I ask? I want to help take a deep breath in and let it out. It began years ago. I think it was before you were born. But, there was a Godzilla that attacked my city. My grandparents fought him, but they didn't make it. Mm -hmm. I see. Dead. I assume your parents used to work for the military. Well, your grandparents used to work for the military. And your parents took their place. Yes, that's true. But I never hated your son or your wife. But yet you hated all my other species. But, I don't sense nearly as much hatred. I, was, I sense a little bit of hatred towards my kind, but not as much as comparing to King Ghidorah. Okay, why are you acting like Smug? That's actually kind of creepy. Hey. Listen, I like that guy. He's cool. Anyways, what's up with that? Why do you hate King Ghidorah so much? And did you wish to prevent him from returning? Yes. I didn't want that three-headed devil to come back. And the reason why I hate King Ghidorah is because... I know he was dead, but I still heard all the crimes he committed. Not to mention his followers. Wow. It seems that this hatred blinded you. Hey, say in the plane. Hey, a little, a little recorder. Well, a little memory about 
when the general will threaten to destroy Mantle. Clearly, your hatred got the better of you. Your hatred ended up making you betray Team Ruby, making you become dark, cruel, and selfish. Your hatred and depression made you become a monster and not a word and not a good monster. The clear, selfish, and evil monster. You threaten the innocent lives, you push those who trusted you away, and you only cared about protecting yourself instead of protecting innocent lives. You let the Grim take over the mantle and you completely destroy this kingdom on your own. You ruined everything, Ironwood. Because of your burning hatred and depression, you cause everything to fall apart. My son is a better general than you can ever be. And I don't think the people of this kingdom will ever accept you. They will hate you until the day you die. You have friends. You have family. And you betrayed them all. Uh, Osbin will be very, very disappointed in you. You're lucky I didn't bring his spirit with me. Otherwise, you would have been having a conversation with him instead of me. You will slowly fall apart. Slowly. And you will feel alone. More alone than ever. You will feel nothing. Your reign of terror has come to an end, Ironwood. You had your chance to do the real right thing and save Mantle. But you blew it. And now, you will carry these scars on you until the day you die. And you will now and forever regret this mistake. You not only betrayed my trust and my son's trust, but you even betrayed the world's trust. You betrayed everyone that you loved and cared about. They will not accept your apology. They will hate you. They will wish for your death to come slowly and painfully. You are the cause of this kingdom's destruction. You are the reason why this kingdom is destroyed. You are pathetic, Ironwood. You are nothing without your huntsmen and huntresses.